You know, I always say on this channel, pay-per-view fights should actually be free. And now the day has come where I'm about to hook you up with an app where you can watch all your pay-per-view events, boxing, UFC, etc., for free. I want to introduce Block TV, the best internet streaming television app out there. They provide over 3,600 channels, including HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. They have a massive video on demand library with over 40,000 of the new release movies and the latest TV series. And it also includes DVR. So you're getting all of this for $34.99 a month. And once again, that includes free pay-per-view. So this one right here is a no-brainer, guys, because back in Las Vegas, I was paying damn near 200 bucks a month for my cable. Those days are long gone now. So to get the app, make sure you guys go over to GetBlockTV.com and put in my promo code and get 30% off your first month. You also get a free month for every friend you refer. The promo code is DBNation. Don't share about the nation. I take all comers. I don't duck any man. Uh, can we assume that Michael Dokes is one of the prospects? All comers. Come one, come all. Because nobody can get close to me. They're not even close. I'm the best fighter in the world. Dante's Boxing Nation. What's going on, guys? Man, this is some unbelievable news unbelievable news so everyone has been waiting to see who canelo alvarez is going to face next because he had so many great options from an arthur better Biev to a dimitri bivol to a demetrius andre david benavidez calem smith and he could have even fought jamal charlo before jamal charlo chose to fight sergey demiryevchenko so canelo had tons of options so right when it looked like Canelo was actually cornered into fighting someone that's pretty elite, fighting someone way more dangerous than a Rocky Fielding, this is when the WBC comes out of nowhere, surprises the whole boxing world by announcing that they're ordering Canelo Alvarez to fight not David Benavidez for the WBC vacant title, but Abney Yildrum? A guy that's actually coming off of a loss. That's right. His last fight was a loss to Anthony Durrell. Anthony Durrell, the same guy that David Benavidez just beat. And this is who the WBC wants Canelo to fight for a title, a vacant belt. I mean, let's just look at his record for a second. So like I said, his last loss was to Durrell. The two wins he got before he lost to Durrell was against an opponent that had 31 defeats and three wins. And then after he beat that opponent, his very next opponent had 14 defeats. And every time he stepped up in competition, he either lost by decision or got knocked out. Because his other loss was to Chris Eubank. He got knocked out by Chris Eubank Jr. So this is the guy that the WBC wants Canelo Alvarez to fight next. Guys, the WBC has become Canelo Alvarez's personal witness protection plan. I mean, now don't get me wrong, I wanna make this very clear. Canelo Alvarez, he can still turn down this fight, but if we know Canelo Alvarez, we know that these are the type of moves that he makes. When he had an opportunity to fight Jamal Charlo or Demetrius Andre, who did he fight instead? He fought Rocky Fielding. Five years ago, when Canelo was fighting at 154, and he didn't even have a belt, and the champions were the Charlo brothers and Demetrius Andre. Who did Canelo Alvarez end up fighting instead of fighting them? He ended up fighting Liam Smith, who actually was awarded Demetrius Andre's belt after they stripped Andre of his title. Now, a similar situation is happening today when it comes to this David Benavidez situation. David just got stripped of his title. Canelo Alvarez had never had any interest in fighting David Benavidez, but now there's a very good chance he's going to fight for his vacant belt against an opponent that should really be a step up in competition for some prospect who's like eight and oh. To you Canelo Alvarez fans, see when I told you that Canelo Alvarez is 30 years old and he's running out of time, you guys didn't understand the point that I was making because you guys start saying, oh, well, Terrence Crawford is 32 or whatever, and Errol Spence is this age, they're all in their 30s. 
But the difference is people like Terrence Crawford, he wants to fight the number one guy in the division. Forget about the fact that he turned down the Keith Thurman fight. He wants to fight the number one guy. So if you're comparing what Terrence Crawford is doing to what Canelo is doing, it's the complete opposite. Canelo would have to go after the number one guy for you to compare what he's doing to Terrence Crawford. And then you have other fighters, once again, like Errol Spence, all of these fighters who's pretty much the same age as Canelo. But the difference is Canelo Alvarez, he steps up in competition every two or three years. And when I say step up in competition, I'm talking about an undefeated elite champion. I'm not even talking about Danny Jacobs. That was a good win. Matter of fact, that was Canelo Alvarez's best win without any controversy. So the question is, why would Danny Jacobs, why would Canelo Alvarez, why would he fight Danny Jacobs, but he wouldn't fight Demetrius Andrade or Jamal Charlo? What's the difference? Well, the difference is Danny Jacobs already had two L's on his record. And he had looked vulnerable in his last fight against Sergey Demiryevchenko, which I told you in my post-fight video right after uh, Danny Jacobs beat Darren Yevchenko. I said I would not be surprised. I said it in the video. I would not be surprised if Canelo actually goes after Danny Jacobs now because of his performance. And that's exactly what happened. The difference, once again, is Danny Jacobs is not undefeated. And Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo, they have never looked as vulnerable as Danny Jacobs did in his Sergey Demer Yevchenko fight. Now, some people will say, hey, well, what about the Matt Carabaugh fight? against Charlo. The difference is Matt Carlbaugh's style is the complete opposite of Canelo Alvarez's style. Matt is a boxer. He's a stick and move, use foot movement. His defense is his foot movement. He moves around the ring, which if he was on a coincidental list, you Canelo fans would be calling him the biggest runner, but we already know what time it is when it comes to that. So he moves around the ring and he's a southpaw. That's not Canelo Alvarez's style. Canelo is not stupid. He realizes that doesn't help me, you know, watching Matt Karboff win rounds against uh, Charlo. So it doesn't matter how Jamal Charlo looked against Karboff to Canelo Alvarez. So back to my point, Canelo Alvarez is 30 years old and he's still doing the same things he was doing when he was 24 years old. He's still fighting the same type of fighters. This would be a huge step backwards if Canelo Alvarez takes this fight. This would be a huge step backwards if he takes this fight. And it would be a terrible business move if DAZN allows Canelo Alvarez to cherry pick an opponent that's not going to help them get any new subscribers on DAZN. I mean, what's the point of paying Canelo Alvarez all of this money if you're gonna allow him to fight whoever he wants and it doesn't help you make your money back that you paid out or guaranteed Canelo. You know, it's so funny because of course, Canelo Alvarez fans are the most loyal to Canelo Alvarez. They don't care what he does. They will defend him at all costs. But it's funny because every time I do a Canelo video, the Canelo fans always fill up the comment section. There's only been one Canelo Alvarez video that I did where almost no Canelo Alvarez fans were in the comment section. And that was the video I did where I asked the question, who should Canelo Alvarez fight next? And who should be his next three opponents? Do you know almost no Canelo Alvarez fans replied? None of them came up with any ideas of who they wanted Canelo Alvarez to fight? It's so crazy because these are the same fans that will give you a thousand excuses why they don't want Canelo to fight Jamal Charlo or Demetrius Andre. But then when you ask them the question, okay, well, who do you want him to fight? Who do you think deserves to fight Canelo Alvarez? Then they don't answer it. But the funny thing is, whenever you ask professional boxers, especially Golden Boy, former champions, et cetera, et cetera, like Bernard Hopkins, Oscar De La Hoya, when you ask them who they want to see Canelo fight, you hear Oscar De La Hoya saying, if Canelo wants to be considered great, he has to fight the likes of Demetrius Andre and Jamal Charlo. You heard Bernard Hopkins say very recently, in order for Canelo to be considered a Mexican great, 
he's going to have to fight Jamal Charlo. These are people that work with Canelo Alvarez saying this. So you can't say they're biased. They're even saying they want to see Canelo Alvarez challenge himself. But see, the best thing for Canelo is there are many challenges. He doesn't have to just focus on Andre or Charlo. He also has challenges at 168. David Benavidez, right? He has challenges at 175 where he fought Sergey Kovalev. There's challenges everywhere. But Canelo Alvarez is not that eager to get in the ring with them. And the more he makes moves like this, I'm telling you guys right now, the more other boxers are gonna start coming out and criticizing Canelo Alvarez. So far that list is already getting long when it comes to everyone who's been criticizing Canelo for his level of opposition. From Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. to Eric Morales to Juan Manuel Marquez, Marco Antonio Barrera, Marcos Maidana. And the list just goes on and on and on. And I'm telling you, if Canelo Alvarez picks this Ani or whatever his name is, Yendiram, if he picks him next, oh man, I'm telling you, some of the most loyal Canelo fans are going to start turning on Canelo Alvarez. This is a bad look for Canelo. The man is 30 years old and he's still fighting the same type of opponents he was fighting when he was 24. So once again, guys, it's not official. Canelo Alvarez can still shock the world and pick a tough opponent in his next fight. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I hope he doesn't go with this opponent because nobody wants to see this fight. And once again, this is the type of opponent that some young undefeated prospect should be taken on as his first step up in competition. Not someone like Canelo Alvarez who has what, damn near 50 fights now? Let's see what he decides to do. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a haircut shape up or an edge up. What they do is they tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you have lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you already were probably doing anyway. So if you wanna get this hookup for my brothers out there in the UK and Europe, make sure you check out the Scalp This on Instagram. And for my brothers out there in the States, make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before, but all I can tell you guys is this a serious game changer for us men. So make sure you get in contact with Scalp This and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. Are you ready to take your striking game to the next level? Then you've got to get the Focus Ball. Dramatically improved footwork, timing, reflex, hand-eye coordination, head movement, and striking IQ. Lightweight and extremely portable, so you can train every time, everywhere with the Focus Ball. 